Hey everyone, Dave here. Welcome to my fitness journey, apparently. I swear like 90% of opportunities I get are coming from this industry instead of gaming for some reason. I'm definitely not complaining, but it just seems weird to have a gaming channel, but you get free stuff with fitness. Like, is that my hidden calling or something? We're back with the old setup. Hello, camera two. Long time no see. Quick technicalities just to get out of the way. I was approached by Kiwi Design to review it for free and that's pretty much it. They don't pay me to say anything. I was actually using few of their products, for example, the cable management thing on the ceiling that made playing Oculus Link very easy at the time and like the first controller grips that I had for Quest 1 but they sucked ass so there's a balance. <laughs> Today we have the Kiwi Design VR Dumbbells for Quest 2. It's essentially you know small weights for your hands that make your movement in VR a bit slower and harder to execute and because you're putting an additional weight on yourself depending on what you're doing the muscles responsible for that are under much higher pressure. This is how it pretty much looks like with a complete set. A very circular thing on top which is perfect for punching the walls and like over the buttons you have weights distributed. The installation was pretty hard to understand at first but you can get used to it after like a daily usage so basically you'd have to kind of turn your controller upside down then turn it back put the cover on top turn again <laughs> weights and that's pretty much it you know few seconds but a very smooth installation once you know what to do. I tested them out in Lemil, which recently released, still don't care how it's pronounced, but after a few sessions it kinda became a go-to fitness game for me. Now to make the test fair I assumed it's better to do the exact same exercise that I did in overview and then do the same with dumbbells, it kinda just made sense. And the long story short it actually works. The same movements that I was executing before were now slower, I didn't even hit the top of the leaderboards like in the previous video, simply because my movements were kinda restricted. After completing the session I could feel the different feeling in my muscles, like that little change actually made an impact. I do like the design, it actually looks like it would be a part of the original controller set. The lines between the ring and the actual dumbbell are so seamless, like I wouldn't be surprised at all if Quest 3 would have the same design with the official product because it actually looks like it. Very important thing that I want to just keep you informed for health reasons, do not even attempt to try these dumbbells without some kind of controller grips. Like I don't care if it's gonna be from Kiwi or other brands, this little thing can kill someone. If you're not like just strongly grabbing it, it's just gonna fly through the room and hit someone in the eye, kill a dog, destroy a TV. Remember, it is still a dumbbell. Doesn't matter if it's kinda lightweight, but it's truly like a weapon for quests. Other than that, I don't think I have more notes. I saw the price and it was kind of expensive, I guess, but then again, I have no idea how expensive the actual dumbbells for gyms cost, so the product feels premium to me comparing to other things that I've tried from Kiwi in the past. Am I gonna use that Actually yeah, I'm slowly getting into VR workouts in general and this makes sense to have an additional pressure if something is too easy to do. Feel free to hit me up with questions or things that I didn't mention. It's nice to get something for free every once in a while and even better if I actually have a usage of it. I'm glad that Kiwi reached out to me and props to them and as always I'll see you around.